Hello everyone and welcome to another high elo game of Age of Empires today. Two incredibly powerful naval civilizations. Well, they naturally meet on one of the driest, most arid maps in the entire game. As the Viper, playing as the Malay in green, gets ready to duke it out with Mr. Yo, playing as the Spanish in red. Now, while the players heard their herdables explore their immediate surroundings and try to get their butts up to Feudal Age ASAP, why don't we take a look at the Civ matchup that we are going to be watching today. Now, the Malay is civilization that comes with a few late game features that are incredibly powerful. To start with, their battle elephants get progressively cheaper, 25% off in castle, 35% off in imperial. They get all infantry armor upgrades for free, which is fantastic because they've got a little upgrade called forced levy. What this does is it turns their militia line units into a unit that costs only food. And when combined with supplies, it only costs 65 food for them to train their two-handed swordsmen because the melee, unfortunately for them, don't get champions. Now, lastly, if you're tired of spamming elephants, you don't really want to spam two-handed swordsmen. Well, you have a third option for spam as the melee. You can turn to your unique unit, the Karambit Warrior. This is an incredibly cheap, super fast, but on the whole kind of weak infantry unit that only takes up half a population space. And so if you've got 20 of them, they only take up 10 population room or space or board or whatever the heck it's called. Now, in order to help you get to the late game, get these units out and about, get these bonuses up and running as fast as possible, the Malay do advance to the next age a lot quicker than every other civilization, which means you can either rush to the next age or you can meander a little bit, play with the butterflies, poke the elephant's ass as we're about to see. Ah, oh, there it goes. A very irate elephant getting chased here, about to get eaten. Little does this elephant know that its days are numbered as it is going to enter the cooking pots of the Malay, but will it take a villager down with it? No, the villager does survive. In any event, the Malay do advance the next stage a lot quicker than average. We'll, uh, we'll discuss the timings as I always like to do once the Viper does eventually click up to Feudal, if he does. Who knows, lately these games have been pretty bonkers. We might see a Dark Age game between these two players. Speaking of two players, let's take a look at the second on the north side of the map. We've got Mr. Yo playing as the Spanish a paramilitary civilization that loves its gunpowder units. Spanish gunpowder units fire 18% faster than normal, and their unique unit is the Conquistador. This is a heavy-hitting, less accurate mounted hand cannoneer that comes with more HP but less range. Now, or, pardon me, in order to defend their costly gunpowder units, heal them after a bit of a scuffle or maybe a battle. Well, the Spanish can actually train missionaries which are basically mounted monks. Oh, I missed the elephant poking to the butt up to the north. We'll see how well Mr. Yo does. Also, Loomless also getting attacked by the elephant, also losing a whole bunch of HP, but the elephant does ultimately die. And anyway, as I was about to say, missionaries are basically mounted monks with less range that can't pick up relics. Now, the Spanish can also upgrade both their monks and their missionaries to convert enemy units faster, and they can convert, pardon me, they upgrade their missionaries to get a plus one boost to their range. Now, to support their military-industrial complex, Spanish villagers do construct things 30% faster than normal. Their blacksmith upgrades cost absolutely no gold whatsoever. And every time they research a technology, well, the government gives them 20 gold back. And so when we see Mr. Yo's 100 gold here, his starting 100 dip down to 50, uh, probably once he hits feudal because he hasn't researched it yet and he's already clicking up, it'll go from 100 to 50. And then once Loom is completed... It'll go up to 70. Always fun to see that. That doesn't apply just to Loom. It applies to, I believe, every single technology they research. They do get 20 gold, which is very nice in the early stages of the game when uh, gold intensive units generally are what? Archers <laughs> for the most part. Now, why did I call the Spanish a paramilitary civilization? Well, their villagers can actually be upgraded to get 40 extra HP plus two plus two armor and a massive plus six attack boost which together with the sappers upgrades, upgrade, pardon me, makes their villagers amazing at taking down buildings, castles, towers, walls, anything and everything in the later stages of the game. And uh, speaking of the later stages of the game, uh, Mr. Yo, where you going? Yo loses his scout as the Viper gets a very easy first kill of the game here. What the hell was that? I believe Mr. Yo, if I had to guess, right clicked on this part of the map perhaps expecting his opponent to have spawned at a uh, parallel location, which doesn't usually happen in Age of Empires. And so it did happen this time. 
Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, it did happen this time for Mysterio because he was probably looking somewhere else, probably looking here to make sure he could uh, wouldn't lose any villagers to the Viper because, remember, he doesn't have Loom yet. And so this scout can get a good amount of damage, especially once he goes up to Feudal. If you're not familiar with how scouts work, their speed, their line of sight, and their attack all increase in the Feudal Age, which means five attack against the Loomless Villager with no armor. Uh... Yeah, bad news for the villager. So maybe Mr. Yo is looking up there. In any event, the Viper draws first blood, which reminds us maybe it's time to look at the chessboard that we're playing on today. Ooh, mama. Very forward attack between A to B, B to A, whichever player you favor here. Uh, absolutely nothing standing in the way between these two bases, a big old open space. An interesting little crater here uh, next to this escarpment. A relic, a relic in the center, as seems to always be the case lately on Arabia. And the action has already begun 10 minutes in as Mr. Yo now moves his scout. I should say his second scout, pardon me, into actually exploring the Viper's base. The Viper's base, primary goal to the back, primary stone off to the side in an upside down Tesla shape here. And now Mr. Yo should get shoot away unless he again doesn't pay attention to this scout. Where are his additional resources? He's got stone and gold up to the top of his base outside of this small little tiny forest. Yuckety yuck, what a small forest. And then he's got extra gold to the back. So not a bad location for a third gold. Not a bad location for extra wood as well. Three forests in a bit of a cup shape. Not very helpful here to the Viper for walling off purposes or for actually wood gathering purposes because the one he's gathering wood from first seems to be uh, rather first or second. Seems to be kind of sparse and tiny. Two chases happening here. Seems that the Viper is the one chasing. By the way, because I know we're going to get comments about this. I mean, this is Age of Empires. We're going to get comments about everything. I could say this tree is green. And somebody would say, well, actually, Isaac, it's uh, it's an off shade uh, of the blah, blah, blah. But the Viper playing in the color green lately. A lot of games in the color green. Sometimes he plays, you know, one or two games as blue and as uh, red, and then he goes back to his yellow. But lately, quite a lot of games in the color green. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I haven't checked it super duper recently, but I believe currently the Viper is the number one, at the time I'm recording this game, in my secret location, in my underground bunker at an undisclosed time and place. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The Viper, by the way, loses a scout. He has been playing a lot of green, and he is currently number one on the ranked ladder. So I don't know if we're witnessing some kind of Gandalf-esque rebirth of the Viper, where Viper the Grey is no longer with us, and Viper the Green has returned to... Uh, I don't know who who's evil in our ranked ladder. I don't know. I can't name any players. I don't think anyone's really that evil. And look at the Viper with the 14 minute loom just realizing now. Hey, wait a second. I've got four scouts heading my way. I might want to get a little bit of uh, HP and armor for them. And so now getting loom. Okay. Uh, cutting a couple of corners. Now, as the Malay, you don't really need to cut corners with loom. Why do I say cut corners with loom? Because researching Loom generally for everyone except, I believe, the Goths. Who, uh, or no, I guess the Persians as well. Anyone who has a TC-related speed bonus. By the way, I, I, I know there's like a chase happening, but I, I'm deep in thoughts right now. I'm deep in my, own, uh, in my own brain right now. Loom is generally supposed to take 25 seconds to research. A villager is supposed to take 25 seconds to train. And so there naturally is a built-in you know, opportunity cost for players. Unless, again, you're the Goths, in which case you tr you get Loom in, like, a second. Or you're the Persians, or... Gangbang. You guys know how much I love my 2v2 Spearman battles. Looks like the Viper's gonna lose one, but he is gonna take one of Mr. Yo's to hell with him. At the same time, looks like Yo's trying to bust in. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is... Every civilization, almost every civilization, has a trade-off. But the Malay, instead of the usual 130 seconds, so 2 minutes, 10 seconds that it takes to go up to Feudal, because they go up faster, they go up 52 seconds faster than everyone else. And when you go up 52 seconds, you can train 2 extra villagers. 
So generally, if you're the Malay and you just kind of want to build the standard build order, I was talking about this yesterday with the Italians, how pro players sometimes don't really use the cheaper cost of going up. They kind of play to the same build order they're used to. And so they wait until they have 500 food, even though they don't really need it. Same with the Malay. Sometimes they say, you know, it's a 21 plus this, 22 plus this, 19 plus that, whatever the hell the meta is, however the hell you describe it. But if you wanted to, you could go up at the same time, like the Viper could have gone up at the same time as Mr. Yo with two extra villagers because he goes up 52 seconds faster. And so he would naturally hit all things being equal with two extra villagers. He would hit feudal two seconds ahead of Mr. Yo. Ooh, don't change direction, Mr. Yo, speaking of. Oh, he's going to get a whack off, isn't he? Isn't he? Let's just follow along here. Oh, did I miss a kill? Ah, it didn't matter. It was worth it. Oh. No, oh, we missed one kill to see another. Doesn't matter. We'll have seen it in picture in picture. The point is, Loom, not the most of urgent of upgrades if your opponent isn't really pressing into you. Uh, mostly on a closed map, for example, but on Arabia. Uh, I don't know. Viper waiting 14 minutes to get Loom. Mm, didn't really need to do that. But in any event, I missed describing all of the action. The Viper is out. He's going Cavalry Archers. He is in Castle. The uptime for the Malay for Castle is even better. There's there's 64 seconds ahead of everyone else. And so Mysterio now hits Castle Age. He's got five villagers on stone. Whenever the Spanish hit Castle, you have to look immediately at their stone, just like the Portuguese and not ask if, but where their castle is going to go. Very defensive castle. Now, I'm surprised the Viper's going cavalry archers. I mean, aside from missing bloodlines, <laughs> what the hell is this? What the hell is this? I mean, if there was an action here, Palisade getting pushed into, Viper does see the castle going up. Will he get the first vill kill of the game? I was about to say, they are missing for a Castle Age Cavalry Archer. I believe they're only missing Bloodlines, which the Malay don't get. Otherwise, uh, anything too good for their Elephants, they don't get. Aside from that, I believe they should have all Castle Age upgrades. They do get Thumbring, but not Parthian Tactics. Yeah, Thumbring, but not Parthian Tactics. So for a Castle Age unit... Oh my god, now there's two Lions! <laughs> what the what the hell is going on? Is one lion attacking the red spearman and another lion is attacking the green spearman, or are they both attacking the red spearman? We're gonna keep an eye on that in picture in picture, but the real press is coming into here. But will the twenty the lack of twenty HP come to bite the viper in the ass because Mr. Yo is going conquistador and the conquistador packs a wall up at a sixteen pierce attack and that is not a small attack <gasps> is this open oh no <laughs> the game of optics and it might be mr yo who gets the first villager kill here no never mind decides to retreat figures hey you know what there were cav archers in front of my base now they're not here anymore if i enter into the viper's base with these three units it is probably a one-way trip now does HP really matter? Does Bloodlines really matter when you outnumber your opponent 8 to 2? Probably not. Oh, and he's going to lose them to conversions. Maybe, maybe. No, one monk goes down. Knight sacrifices himself nobly, but at the end of the day, ineffectively, because one Conquistador did get converted. And just like that, Mr. Yo loses two-thirds of his army. And the last piece of the three-piece puzzle moves away. Now, luckily for him, Conquistador accuracy is absolutely dog shit. Not exactly a ram by bad, but 65% is pretty darn bad, by the way. Ooh, I see some bodies here. One kill for the lion. Oh, well, I've seen one happen in picture in picture. This is the kind of stuff I like to see. Somebody recently commented that they love the casting, but man, oh man, do I have the ability to focus on the most dumb shit ever in this game now that is a very subjective thing to say but i think i focus on a, on a healthy amount of both good stuff and dumb stuff hopefully enough to keep everyone entertained and uh enjoying the cast
Mysterio needs to get the numbers up. He's at 48 villagers. He's at 9 army count. The Viper is at 73 villagers. Was at 21 army count, but now he's dead. And so he's down to 20, but doesn't really hurt as much when it's a converted unit. And here we go. This is where the Conquistador packs a freaking punch. And this is where 20 extra HP means two extra attacks needed to kill your unit. And now we've got to battle a micro. Cavalry Archer with a bow and arrow. Cavalry Archer more advanced with a gun. So far, the gunman is winning. <laughs> what did the, did the... No, the Conquistador. I was going to say, did the lion kill the monk? But they don't kill monks. The Conquistador killed the monk up there. And then the Cavalry Archers tried to kill the Conquistador. Monday. Looks like the Viper does have one relic already. Random scout from a time gone by guarding this relic. And oh, the Viper catches. Now the good news is if you go Cavalry Archers, the upgrades you get, aside from, you know, bloodlines and husbandry and so forth, do apply to skirmishers. So... He has lost the Viper, all of his Cavalry Archers, which, I mean, uh, you, you didn't have to be a, uh, you didn't have to be a Sage to, to, re to, to predict that. Looks like the, th the last three of them did die here, but those upgrades still do apply to the Skirmishers. Oh my god, there's a Missionary! That Missionary's about to get shafted to death, he does. Okay. <laughs> so at least he's got Skirmishers with 2-1. Where you add cavalry and skirmishers, of course, a lot cheaper. And so you can produce a lot more for a lot less. And how many archery ranges does our Malay have? Only two. Okay. Unfortunately for the Viper, the one thing the skirmisher doesn't have over the cavalry archer is mobility speed. Which means that the vast majority of his skirmishers are not here to take this fight. And on paper, as much as skirmishers do counter conquistadors... Uh, you need a lot more skirmishers to counter. Probably you need like two and a half, three to one ratio. Another monk gets gunned down. Will he go after the other one? I mean, the Viper is leaving this open for a reason, right? You have to assume he's leaving this open for a reason. He is setting a trap. Mysterio knows that, brings a Manganel forward. Looks like a, another monk died here to the right, just underneath that monastery skirmishers. Cav or con pardon me, converted conquistadors are dying here as well. But Mysterio is going to escape thanks to one unit and one unit only. He's got a thousand stone. He's bringing villagers forward. He's killed the last of the Viper's army. And there is the castle. And there is Thumbring and Scale Barding Armor because he's going elephants. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying not to laugh too hard because my cough is still here after a month and a half. It has not gone away. But this is... This is poetic justice. If the Viper wins this game with elephants, this is exactly what Mr. Yo did to Barls a few days ago. I'm not going to say the outcome of the game. But Mr. Yo played as the Vietnamese. Barls played as the Vikings. The thumbnail shows a very scary showdown. Viper is focusing on the Conquistadors instead of the villagers building the castle. I guess he figures the castle is going to go up anyway. Now the elephant is here. But no murder holes means that this elephant could technically kill that castle unless those villagers pop out. Skirmishers are heading north. Elephant. Ooh, he's doing the chase me routine. Mysterio pops his villagers out. Elephant. Viper not microing it. Chases the villagers. Castle fires on them. Manganel shot right as I pivot. But as I was about to say, spoiler alert. Uh, this would be absolute poetic justice. Eight seconds away from Imperial Age is our Malay. Mr. Yo is nowhere close. He has gone full Castle Age, Castle Aggression. His Siege Workshop is here. He's going to start teefing some of the gold of the Vipers. Now, Malay Battle Elephants, the saddest elephants of all. They don't get the last two armor upgrades, the second or the third, which means these Conquistadors that attack on a 16 are going to do a lot of damage to these units. And as we saw before, they also don't get bloodlines. 
I'm not too sure where the Viper's elephants are heading, though. He is an Imperial Age. He does have a castle, which means two trebuchets are up, which means there is now a clock on Mr. Yo. I would say a good five to ten minutes. Depending on where the hell those elephants are going and what they're doing. I don't know why they're not defending here. I mean, the Viper is playing with fire. You kind of, uh, you've kind of outpaced your opponent. You're ahead almost 50 villagers, 45 villagers. Or pardon me, 35 villagers. I can do math. Your trebs are out. His castle's going to go down. Why are your elephants abroad? And wow, look at how fast these elephants do die. Let's see if he gets the mangonel before he does. Nope. Another red villager dead. Why wasn't he mining gold? I think all of the red villagers that came in the forward position are dead. And this is what the viper is doing? Okay. Oh, he's going to pour salt into the wound. We'll keep an eye on these elephants. See how many villagers they actually can kill. But he's going to pour salt into the gaping wound that is the Spanish economy right now. Now, the Spanish probably do have one of the best, if not the best, villagers to defend against these weaker elephants. I shouldn't say weaker elephants. Uh, I mean, they do get all the attack upgrades. These less armored upgrade, less armored elephants. But unfortunately for our Spaniard, the Supremacy upgrade, which roids up their villagers, is an Imperial Age upgrade. And Mr. Yo has got 74 food in the bank. What he does have is double the army count. What he does have is presence. What he doesn't have is an ability to get rid of these trebuchets. As good as a 16 attack is from the Conquistador, you know what's better than a 16 attack? 150 pierce armor. He is killing villagers, though. Doesn't really matter. Now the Viper does have an actual 53 villager lead. Those elephants on the other side of the map look like they've been doing an amazing job. Let's see. 14 villager kills. Mark it down. No more balancing economy to you. For you, rather. Oh, the Viper, though, loses his relics. How many villagers? 28 villagers for the Viper versus 7 villagers building things 30% faster. That doesn't work out for the Spaniard at all. The Rams move forward. The Conquistadors move forward. Why are the Conquistadors moving forward? Okay. He wants to cripple the economy, but now he's stuck. Now he's stuck. Now he's stuck and he's not moving. Oh, what an absolute unmitigated disaster here for Mr. Yo. How many Conquistadors did he lose? Too many. Too many is the answer. Oh my goodness. We have to rewind and see what the hell happened there. Why did he chase into there? Mysterio must have been frustrated at losing 26 villagers to 9. That's not that bad. The problem is you're already at such a deficit of villagers. Now you're at 51 deficit. I guess that's better than 53. Looks like he did manage to convert. We've seen all that in picture in picture, but wow. Why did he dive bomb into that castle? I mean, he's already inside the castle range, but I feel like the Viper is focusing on the ram instead. Let's see what happened here. So he starts out with 13 conquistadors. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six of them are damaged. A few look like they're about to die. So half of them are at half health. Well, unlucky 13. They move in. Okay, it looks like they got three or four villagers. Then they're just going to stop. Oh, and then that horrible, horrible shot. Every... Are you seeing this? Every shot the Viper took with the castle. <laughs> he got two conquistadors for the price of one. That was, I mean, that just sour. There was that game with MBL recently where, like, the last few minutes, just things, oh, my God, against the Leary with the, with the sergeant push and the donjon push where things just got worse and worse and worse and worse. That was pretty much a 10-second uh, comparable moment and out of 13 original conquistadors. Mr. Yo's at four. His castle isn't finished. It's getting trebbed. These elephants are now elite. For the Malay, they are almost fully upgraded. He does have husbandry. <laughs> at least they get husbandry. I mean, come on. But look at the Viper. He's got 1,400 gold. mysterio has got a good amount of gold, but what he doesn't have is food. He also, what does what he doesn't have is Imperial Age techs, upgrades, units, anything, because he is firmly stuck in the Castle Age. And at the end of the game, they, at the end of the game, Okay, they still only have 14 kills, but I feel like some of these, uh, the converted one and the one that died, maybe one or two more that died here had a few more kills. 33 villager kills to 11. What an absolute treasure of a game. 
I mean, I was a. I, I still don't understand why the Viper went cavalry archers. I suspect he wanted to bust into the base so that he could use his cavalry archers to run around and maraud his opponent and kill villagers here and everywhere. I mean, if you have cavalry archers in this base, look at it. You can deny Mysterio all of his resources. There's nothing Mysterio can do. His castle is here. There's nothing here. There's no gold. And if he's mining this gold, you just put your cav archers here. So I can, uh, maybe that's why I wanted to go cav archers. As a counter to conquistadors, they are questionable. Just because, again, they are missing bloodlines. They do still cost gold as opposed to the skirmishers. Also, what I don't understand is why the hell... Well, where was it? I'm having, a, I'm having a bit of a trouble seeing where it was. Was it up here? Why was the Viper's base open, basically? Why was there that one alley that Mr. Yo kept coming back to over and over again? Was he looking to trap Mr. Yo? And then he got trapped himself with that one mangonel that showed up and just started shelling away at all of his skirmishers? I mean, mind games on mind games on mind games over here. But at the end of the day, after 38 minutes... It is the Viper who's an Imperial with almost 60 more villagers than his opponent. Army counts both really low, but when one player has elite battle elephants ransacking your base, they don't need Howda for their armor. They don't need Chatras for their HP. They don't need Tusks for their uh, or Tusk Swords, I guess, if you want to get technical for their attack. They are going to kill your villagers. Toot sweet. Movement speed. Look at that. Faster than Mr. Yo's villagers. Which means they cannot run they can hide but they cannot run and uh on the other side of the world even worse you've lost your castle or i should say here you lost your castle no pardon me that was a siege workshop yeah it was somewhere here you lost your castle you didn't finish your second castle you stopped it at 92 percent and then you lost your villagers and then you lost your conquistadors in one of the worst bloodbaths of the game and I can see how all of that just mounted up into just a psychologically damaging GG. And Mysterio says, enough's enough. I can't take it anymore, this game. Take your W. Uh, Viper the green. Reincarnation of Viper the yellow. And just leave me in peace. <laughs> what, was it? what was the... Uh, you know, if Mysterio had won the game, I could have... Actually, in thinking about it, if Mysterio had won the game, I could have done the... Uh, you have no power here. A uh, line from the Lord of the Rings, right? Gandalf the Grey, or whatever it was that... Uh, uh, who was it? Uh, Saruman said to him through Theoden, right? I think that's what it... It wasn't Grimma Wormwood who said that line. You have no power here. Or whatever the line is. And anyway, it doesn't really matter. Skirmisher to Conquistador. Elephant to Knight. Cav Archer to Scout. Uh, yeah, the Viper just ahead in all of these. 54 skirmishers on paper should counter conquistors. Honestly, between these two numbers, I don't even know. I don't even know who wins this battle. 31 conquistadors at, put, punching at a 16 against 54 skirmishers with their flimsy HP. Hard to say. Depends on micro. PKPM for the Viper. Looks like middle of the game. PKPM for Mr. O, also middle of the game. Cool. Economies. <laughs> okay i mean that's what is that 40 percent bigger economy for our malay six thousand more wood five thousand i mean one six 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 i mean that's just satanic uh what is that about five thousand more food thirty five hundred more gold but our spaniard to his detriment did get more stone unfortunately maybe should have sold that stone to buy food so he could hit up castle age first Two conversions to one not playing a role. Seven to five raisings also not really playing a role. We saw 33 vil kills to 11 probably playing a role. Even though it's Mysterio who got a lot more kills. Because again, the Viper went skirmishers. And when you go trash units, you're going to expect to have lost a lot more militarily than your opponent. That's the whole point. That's why they're called trash. Uh, and unfortunately for Mysterio, the power hitters, knights and conquistadors are not weak units. Unfortunately for him, like I said, just losing the villagers here. Look at his economy. I mean, you could ask what economy. There's nothing here. Absolutely nothing here. And now he's going to go after the miners. He's going to go after the lumberjacks. He's going to go after the farmers. Now that the one monk, the conversion, have been dealt with. And uh, unfortunately, at home and abroad, 
Mysterio is just being toppled, toppled, toppled. And it is the Viper who is doing the toppling and is the Viper who takes the W with the Imperial Age, the Trebs, and the poetic justice of popping out elephants. Uh, which, uh, to be fair, when you're playing against the Malay, you should expect the Jack in the Box to pop up. And instead of a uh, creepy looking uh, pedo clown, should pop out an elephant. And with those elephants, it is the Viper who takes the W, but GG in a very fun, very fast-paced game to both players. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're notified of my latest uploads.